Hi class, welcome to Math is Fundamental. Today we're going to be talking about dilations. So let's start with a definition. A dilation with center of dilation C and scale factor N, where N has to be positive, can be written as D and then parentheses N comma C. And then of course we'll, we'll always tell uh, what our pre-image and our image are. All right, so here a dilation has the following properties. It preserves angle measure but not side length, which means it's not an isometry or rigid motion because it doesn't preserve side length. Uh, for any other point R, R prime is on CR. So all that means is if here's my center of dilation and I draw a line through our pre-image, our image point is going to be on that same line. Um, and N is our scale factor, and it's going to be the ratio of the length of the image to the corresponding length of the pre-image. So here's how I really like to think about our scale factor. We take from our center of dilation, C, and we take the distance between C and R prime and divide it by the distance between C and R. All right, now a dilation is an enlargement If the scale factor is greater than 1, the dilation is a reduction if the scale factor n is between 0 and 1, or in other words, if it's a fraction between 0 and 1. So here are a couple examples. Uh, scale factor 2, so it got larger. If we look at our um, original points and our image points from our pre-image to our image, our image points always have those little prime notation. Again, we want to look at our image points. So here you can see the little primes next to each one. That means that's our resulting figure. That's our image. The other is our pre-image. So we got smaller by a factor of one fourth. All right, let's look at our example. So is this an enlargement or a reduction. So first thing you want to do is look at your points. Here are your image points, which means if I started with these three, x, r, and t, and then I ended with x prime, r prime, t prime, it's definitely an enlargement because it got bigger. Now to find the scale factor, we have to be really careful. A lot of students will look at this they'll see the 4 and the 8 and think that it doubled in size. But that's not true. So if we separate the two, well, I know that x is my center of dilation, xt is 4, and xt prime is 12. It is not 8. So xt prime, x prime t prime over xt, is going to be 12 over 4, which is 3. So my scale factor n is going to be 3 in this case, not 2. All right, so let's look at our last pieces here. Uh, unless otherwise stated, all dilations of figures, oops, typo, figures in a coordinate plane will have the origin or the point 0, 0 as the center of dilation. And a dilation with factor n, scale factor n, with center of dilation at the origin can be written simply as that. So that's our new notation. If you notice, let's go back. The difference is here we had d, we had parentheses n comma c, where c was our center of dilation. Here, we just have an n. There is no comma c because we're just going to assume, if it's not stated, that our center of dilation is the origin. All right, what are the coordinates of the vertices of D2 triangle PZG given our coordinates? So what it's saying is it's a dilation with scale factor 2 of these three points, which is our pre-image points. So here I've got positive 2, negative 1, and negative 2, positive 1, 
and 0, negative 2. All right, so here is my pre-image. Now my image, I want D2, so I want it to enlarge, right? If it's greater than 1, it's an enlargement. I want it to enlarge by a scale factor of 2. So if my center is the origin, then the distance from the origin to G is going to double. So if that's 2, then I need to go to 4 for my G prime. Again, my distance from the origin to P is going to double. And we can use slope if you think about it this way. I went down 1 over 2. I need to go down 1 over 2 again to double that in order to get to my P prime. And then from my origin to my point, and then we have to double that distance. So up 1 over 2, I'm going to go up 1 over 2 and double the distance to get to my z prime. So here is, whoop, and it's going to overlap a bit, but here is my image of that figure. All right, so let's look. P prime ended up at 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 2. Z prime ended up at 1, 2, 3, negative 4, positive 2. And G ended up at 0, negative 4. Now, what do you notice about the image points compared to the pre-image points? If you look, they all got multiplied by 2. They got multiplied by the scale factor. So if we started with a point x, y, and our scale factor was n, then our image point is going to be n times x and n times y, which sometimes gives you a nice little shortcut to graphing them. All right, and that concludes our lesson on dilations. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, math is fundamental.